Hi, I'm Christian Brindle, and welcome to the Everything Medicare Podcast. What's up, everything, Medicare, Podcast Nation? This is Christian Brindle, wherever you are and however you might be listening to me today. Thank you so much for taking the time. This is episode uh, 203, excuse me. And this is our last episode we're going to be doing for a while. If you missed Wednesday's episode, episode 202, at the end I made an announcement that starting next week, and going for about two weeks now. So you'll be hearing this on the 6th of June. For the week of June 8th and the week of June 15th, we will not be bringing you a show. Primarily due to the fact that I am exhausted and I just need a little bit of a break. So we're going to be taking a little bit of time off. Two weeks. We'll be back on June 22nd with our regularly scheduled program, three episodes a week. And we will continue to bring you content after that. I just need a little bit of a break. Um, Part of the week of the 8th, I'll be going out of town with my family. To take a little bit of a trip with my wife, with my daughter. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, And just a little bit of time to recharge and rejuvenate. These shows take a lot out of me with everything else that I do on an everyday basis. Um, And I just don't want to... You know, just be in a situation where I'm going through the motions for you to where I'm in a situation where I don't have the passion. I'm just trying to get through the episode. And not that I'm feeling like that today or anything, but I do find that if I don't give myself some breathing room, that's why we did that, you know, after the enrollment period right around the holiday season, we we took about three weeks off. And we have an we have an unbelievable audience. You are an unbelievable audience. And you've always been very gracious and supported us and come back with a vengeance once we do bring back the show. So I appreciate that. So anyway, folks, just wanted to make sure that I announced that, that everybody was aware of that and people don't wonder where we are for two weeks. Let's get into today's topic, and that is the hospital indemnity plan. So this topic is basically going to be about solving specific problems of Medicare Advantage plans. If you're not familiar with a Medicare Advantage plan, Medicare Advantage plans primarily are plans that people run their Medicare through, right? I mean, people will run their Medicare through a private insurance company. And this private insurance company takes the place of their Medicare, if if, if you will. Medicare doesn't have to pay 80% of the person's medical bills anymore. That takes a big burden off of the insurance company's shoulders, and so they get funding every month. So the government funds them to take care of you, right? It's kind of a trade-off. But in a sense, if Medicare doesn't have to take care of you, this private insurance company does, they do have some some alterations. And there's typically three things that people bring down Medicare Advantage plans on. Number one is that there's a hospital and doctor network. You have to stay in their network. Sometimes they're really big. Sometimes they're really small. It kind of just depends on the specific plan. Number two would be there, there, sometimes they can come with more restrictions, more prior authorizations, possibly referrals to see a specialist. That's not with all plans, but a good majority or a, at least a, a percentage anyway. That's number two. Number three is the copays. Because when you have a Medicare Advantage plan, you're typically looking at a situation where you have a copay for almost every time that you're going to use it. Could be $5 for a primary care doctor, could be $40 for a specialist, could be $90 or $80 for an emergency room visit. Typically, the copays aren't too bad. The copays that most people have add up on them pretty quickly are hospitalization copays if they're unhealthy and they're going to the hospital frequently or they're going a couple times a year. Hospital copays, as well as a 
other certain types of copays, such as skilled nursing and things like that. Skilled nursing meaning overnight rehabilitation. These are where the copays can get fairly high. A hospital indemnity plan can solve one of those three issues. A hospital indemnity plan basically look, works as a plan, a, a, a third party company, if you will, that comes in that basically looks to beef up your current Medicare Advantage plan by taking away some of these big copays, if not all of them. And we're a big advocate for them here in our offices. Folks, don't go anywhere. I have to take a quick break. I'll be back with you in segment two. I'll explain exactly what these hospital indemnity plans do, how much they cost, and why you might want to be interested in one if you have a Medicare Advantage plan. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks so much for sticking with me through that break. Folks, let's talk about one of my favorite products, the hospital indemnity plan. Now, I do think that there are two sides of this hospital indemnity argument, like there are most things. But the negativity in, it comes with hospital indemnity plans is sometimes there will be agents out there that with a hospital indemnity plan before I let me back up. With a hospital indemnity plan, typically they're customizable. So what they do is they come in and pay some of the larger co-pays that you have associated with your Medicare Advantage plan. It could be an ambulance bill. It could be a hospitalization bill. It could be this or that. You can add on cancer riders. There's a bunch of things you can typically add on with hospital indemnity products and plans. And they're customizable. Obviously, the more you add to it, the more it's going to cost monthly. Usually... We're looking at usually 30 to 40 bucks a month, in my opinion, to get a good hospital indemnity plan for what you need. But I have seen people, I have seen people that, in a sense, will basically take themselves into a position with an agent where the agent is maxing them out and charging them $100, $150 a month in premium and just adding on everything they possibly can even though they don't need it. They'd be better off just getting a Medicare supplement at that point because it's full coverage if not close to it. The agents do that because they make more commission. They make the commission for Medicare Advantage Plan, which we've done an episode and I told you exactly how much they make. Plus, they make a huge commission on that big hospital indemnity plan. I think you're better off with a $20, $30, $40 a month hospital indemnity plan that covers probably the ambulance ride. Usually you're looking at a couple hundred dollar copay with a lot of Advantage plans. Probably your hospital copays. Your hospital copays would be usually, it depends on the market, this is different everywhere. It could be $100 a day for for five or six days. It could be $200 a day, $300 a day, but it's going to pay that for you. I also recommend people add on skilled nursing because with most with most Medicare Advantage plans, you're typically looking at $100 to $160 a day in a skilled nursing facility after day 20. Now, if you're in for three weeks or less, it's all right. But if you're in more than that, that adds up very, very quickly. So usually you can have a plan compensate you for that as well. Those are the three, in my opinion, that you're, you're in good shape with. And... It should be roughly, give or take, about a dollar a day, similar to a cancer plan, to kind of help you beef up your coverage. That's what a hospital indemnity plan does. It takes a Medicare Advantage plan, it takes its weaknesses, and it beefs it up without paying as much premium as you might for a Medicare supplement. Now, some people are better off on Medicare supplements. Some people would prefer Medicare supplements. But this is a nice alternative to go the route of the Medicare Advantage. You enjoy the goodies. You enjoy the dental vision hearing that comes with it. You enjoy the gym membership. You enjoy the over-the-counter item benefits. You enjoy the, the low premiums. But you can sometimes get better coverage while doing it. And I'm a big believer that I think that every single person that has a Medicare Advantage plan should at least consider a hospital indemnity plan. 
Now, there are some areas of the country that the Medicare Advantage plans are so good, like they, like in Miami the other day. We were looking at some Advantage plans in Miami for some new clients of ours, and these particular plans had $0 copays per day in the hospital. Don't need much to beef that up. But in most areas, it could be needed. It could be helpful. Folks, I have to take one last break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in our um, third and final segment of today's episode, our last episode for a little while here. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks so much for sticking with me all the way to the end. Folks, I've done episodes in the past where I've kind of slammed agents that I've seen that just absolutely take advantage of people by just maxing out those hospital indemnity plans. I'm not against hospital indemnity plans or even having ancillary products that fill in holes. I think cancer products are great. I've done plenty of episodes about them. I think dental vision hearing plans are great. I've done plenty of um, episodes about them. I think that hospital indemnity plans are great. We've only done one episode that I can think of other than this about them. But I think it's something that you you should consider. Think about it like this. If you have a $0 premium Medicare Advantage plan, you can add on $30, $40 a month plan, and you take off some of the biggest costs associated with your plan by paying 30, 40 bucks a month. How else can you do that? With health insurance, of course, you're paying for Medicare Part B, the $144.60 every month out of your Social Security, most likely. But but where else can you get coverage like that? I mean, you could potentially, between your hospital indemnity plan and your Advantage plan, pay nothing if you spend the night in the hospital. Nothing! Not a penny. I think it's great. Well, folks, um, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here with me today. I appreciate it. I greatly appreciate it. And um, thank you for being such a terrific audience. Thanks for being with me week in and week out. Like I said, we're taking these next two weeks off. Rest, recharge, refuel. But we will be back shortly. I hope that all of you have a fantastic next couple of weeks. Take care. Thank you for being the best audience in the world. We will be back. Bye-bye.